My name is Karen Wilbur. I've been here at St. George's since 2008, and I'm currently the lay leader for the Healing Prayer Ministry here at St. George's. And we do, our Healing Prayer Minister here at St. George's is made up of committed and called lay ministers, and we offer healing prayer every Sunday in the chapel after the 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock services. There'll be a lay minister there and a priest there to pray for you and anoint you with oil. I've been in it for um, since 2010, so I've been in the healing prayer ministry for 11 years, and over those years, I have seen many people healed. I've seen emotional healing, I've seen physical healing, I've seen relationship healing. And I think um, over the years as I've seen, it just um, confirms to me that God is in the, still in the business of healing people. He still wants to heal people. And I think when people come, they feel the love of God and they, they feel um, that He cares for them and that He wants to heal them. Yeah, the COVID has, of course, presented uh, challenges for the Healing Prayer Ministry. And there was, during the time we were um, shut down, the church was shut down, we uh, came up with a way to continue offering healing prayer by phone. And what we did is, um, during the services, we would put a phone number on the screen and some people could call in and we could pray with them over the phone for the healing prayer. Now that we're partially open, we're doing it uh, live in the chapel again. However, if someone wants healing prayer and they're, they're not able to come in person, they can certainly call and we can make an arrangement for them to receive healing prayer over the phone. If someone is interested in the healing prayer ministry and they're on the fence, which a lot of people are, um, I would encourage them, they can contact any member of the clergy or myself personally, and we would love to sit down and talk with them about the Healing Prayer Ministry, go over what it entails, and um, discuss that with them because they do need to feel called to the ministry and they do need to make a commitment. But we don't just throw people in there, we, we, um, we go through kind of a discernment process as to whether this ministry would be right for them. And then we do some mentoring and shadowing and things like that to let people experience for, for themselves. And then if they decide that they actually want to become part of the Healing Prayer Ministry, then we bring them in that way. So if, you know, if you're just interested at all, if you're compassionate for people that are hurting or that are sick, that's the main requirement right there. We serve a God who is, um, he's a God of restoration and reconciliation, and he wants to heal us everywhere we hurt, um, physically or in other ways. And I would encourage you, if you're sick or you're hurting, or you have a need, to please come and let us pray with you.